Hello everyone, my name is Walter and welcome to Walter Reviews. I just watched Venom. Um yeah, that was that was a thing. Um listen, I, I, I will give three reasons why I think this movie didn't work. The first reason is the trailer oversold us or rather sold us something else because they sold us what Venom should have been, like this entity which digs deep into your deepest darkest desires and pushes it out like that's what I kind of enjoyed about the th third Spider-Man it was a Venom that played into Eddie Brock's um, you know desire to get revenge on Peter Parker because he, he Peter Parker got him fired and that's why the, that's why the symbiote latched onto him and it became a strong entity, you know, that hate fueled Venom. That's what I got out of it, at least. Uh, but this one, they, they're trying too much on the whole buddy cop thing where, you know, they're, they're latched on and the, the Eddie's like, no, I don't really like this, but then, you know, they're gonna come together because you know the bad guy is chasing after them yeah, and it's it's really really a messy plot but the thing about it is it is also a very popcorn movie where I say I don't know if I'm really really pissed off at this movie like oh I don't want to watch this again like pan or emoji movie or God damn it, the fallen um, so it, it wasn't any of those kind of things. It was more on the levels of, eh, that was the thing I watched. More on like, let's say, I guess, well, what's a m middle of the road movie that I watched? I, I will say this, I will say that Venom really, really reminded me of Upgrade, the other movie that, um, Tom Hardy was in and uh, I think that's why this movie kind of lies in its stasis like a lot of this movie is about stasis by the way um, but yeah so a lot of it is trying to be upgrade or at least trying to go into that upgrade void or, or, or thought uh, because upgrade is all about the artificial uh, intelligence that you plug into your brain and it, uh, it makes you better. Um, and by the way, that was a weak twist because I guess that it was that guy in like five minutes when he came into the the the, the hospital and said, "Oh, you want to try this?" Damn. Anyway, that's that's upgrade, but. Still, I, I really, really loved Upgrade because you could see the choreography, you could see Tom Hardy fight, you could see him like do the hand-to-hand -hand combat, and I know it wasn't really him, I'm not really sure, but I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't him. Stunt double, whatever, but you, you get the point. Like, in Venom, you didn't really get to see the choreography, especially when the smoke came down and everything, um, and that was really... That was the, another thing for me, like a lot of it is good and then it's balanced out to bad and then it's just middle of the road. Like that's, the first half is really really good and then the second half happens, that's that's what it is. And it's really a, a story of two halves because what do I go with, the first half which was really really good or the second half which is very meh. Like, my my friend and I watched this and he brought up a really good point that the whole first symbiote thing didn't really even play into the story a lot because it was just a plot device because uh, the riot was you know from um, East Malaysia by the way kudos to, to Americans finally recognizing Malaysians but Again, uh, <laughs> out of the story, but uh, yeah, so I, I really love the way they, they set their first half up because uh, and even though 
even though it didn't play into the story a lot, it was just a plot device for for Riot to come to San Francisco. I don't I don't understand why it just couldn't have been with those other people just crash in the U.S. Like I I know I know they wanna you know get back to, to other places. They wanna they wanna travel whatever. I I understand that and it's good publicity for for Malaysia, but there isn't really a sense of it like there isn't really any tying to the to the real story in any one way or no- another um but what really gets me about this movie is that they really really try to do the whole uh split personality thing uh split per- personality thing from split as well uh and i don't think they did it good enough and I, I do say that the CG is a bit weird for me because I don't whenever anything liquid comes up like even in the new Aquaman trailer I'm like I don't I don't like the way the the hair is floating I don't I don't really like that and um, I know a lot of you know new media or new shows whatever new new movies are kind of hitting back at the fans for not liking things but this is this is our opinion like and you should take it with a grain of salt because you made it and who's it for it's for the fans right like that's one of the things but also i i think that this movie fails on giving us the whole like desire thing like that that's what everyone has been saying uh in a lot of reviews as well and i know that's just reiterating what people say uh, but I really, really thought that they were gonna do more of the, the, the. Oh, am I, am I, am I evil now? What's gonna happen? Because that's what the trailer sold us. Um, and by the way, uh, the the song at the end is of course uh, Venom by Eminem, uh, and I obviously enjoyed the the song, but a few of you may not because it's it's just a promotional thing, and, and Eminem loves comic books, so hey, what are you gonna do, right? But um, that's another story. I'm just going off in tangents because there isn't really a lot to be said about this movie because a lot of it is very empty. It's a very voided movie, and I was really shocked to see Jenny Slate in there. Like that's what gave me the impression that okay, this is just gonna be like Ant Man. It's just gonna be like. Um, Thor Ragnarok, which really, I don't really mind that. Like, I love Thor Ragnarok. I, I thought it would be a very meh movie, but I found that to it to be enjoyable and one of my good kind of movies. Like, it's a, it's a really good movie. But another thing is is that you can't really say that uh, Thor Ragnarok didn't have flaws. It had flaws. I did. Do a review and said there are a lot of flaws, but I think the the whole the good outweighed the flaws. And this movie, the the good equaled the flaws. Like it just really really balanced everything out. Um, and man, what a waste of a Woody Harrelson cameo. I mean, that was just really a throwaway joke. Like I don't know what they were thinking. Um, and I definitely agree with Double Toasted when they said. Um, the whole ending really just was to to pick up off where they 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 didn't want to i guess or or rather they picked up where they should have picked up which was eddie saying don't eat people don't eat people out of just spite you know we should do something good which the trailers was, were selling us and i and i thought that we were getting more of that but it's more of the generic good versus bad again and I don't know what to say because it. I know I I sound mixed, but that's what this movie gives you a mixed feeling. Like on one hand, it's really good because it's funny. It's it's it was good at the jokes at the comedy, and it was doing really good stuff. And I thought that Venom coming into Eddie Brock's life would balance that out, and and more so than not push it to that that side where he is more stigmatized into saying okay there are a lot of people who are evil and I, I, I and I'm sick of it and I, I, I really really hate it and I'm going after uh, the uh, Clayton Drake whatever 
um, and I wanna I wanna take my revenge on him because that's what I was thinking like that that's what I was like okay maybe this is a throwaway uh, the first lady getting the the another riot venom that that is gonna be a throwaway because it's gonna be more, for more for the after credits and maybe people are wrong about that but they were right about it like there was no sequence where that whole first thing played into the second half like that's that's the problem of this movie uh, it was very very jumbled the sequence wise I feel because I thought that last scene could have been straight after Eddie got uh, Venom and he ate people and then you know shit happens and then at the end they leave on uh, them talking to the the the, the girlfriend um, or the ex girlfriend, whatever you want to call her. Um, but yeah, I just I just thought that it was at least going to be interesting in the ways of the the mask kind of where. You know, he gets all crazy, and you know, he's 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 a funny guy. Tom Murray can do comedy, and he's gonna you know rip people apart, and and they did a lot of awkward comedy. But hey, awkward comedy is still uh, comedy, right? Like, I I think that's the basis of this movie is that they were trying too many things, they were experimenting with too many things, and just got, got lost. The plot just derailed itself and then you know the bad guy was in the bad guy then stuff happened and then the bad guy came back into play and then it's all about the venom to, to me they should have focused on one thing which was the symbiotes coming to earth a possible side plot of the scientists getting in and, and experimenting it on it and that one of the symbiotes escaping the lab getting to Eddie after he got fired getting to Eddie Eddie gets the venom in his sleep then he he has dreams about killing uh, Carlton Drake and he really does it and then shit goes down that's it like and then the whole rest of the the symbiotes can be in the background and then this like a little crack and then either riot or carnage comes out because uh, Woody Harrelson at the end is like there'll be carnage woo um, but like there's no there's a lot of mixed juxtapositions there's a lot of mixed changes in this movie that really doesn't add up at the end of the day and that's what kind of frustrates me but also I can't really say much because it is it is what it is it's a it's a popcorn movie and it it behooves me that they decided to to make a popcorn movie instead of making it a good movie you know where possibly it could have been uh, Venom going to like my friend suggested this like Venom going to New York and then getting into Peter Parker getting his 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 uh, powers and then moving to to Eddie Brock that would have been cool as well like that's that's just it. Um, and by the way, the 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 other thing that I liked about um, Spider-Man Three was that uh, remember what I talked about desire. It it enhances your your senses as well, right? Like so, you get more horny. You get more. You get more. You know things. You know you get more like aggressive. You get more angry whatever it's more on anger hate lust greed whatever like the seven sins essentially um but in this one it's more of i'm hungry and that and that's that's just a weak thing but i get what they were trying to go with that as well like you know he's always hungry because it's a it's a fast moving thing you know it needs fuel and it's a lot of things to eat uh, you know that's why he ate the, the raw lobster which I thought you know could have been done easily but you know if Venom had just been like yo Eddie I need some I need some fresh food yo I need living shit for me to feed on give me some chicken give me some live chicken to eat you don't fry it just give me so like that's our pizza like 
I I th- I think pizza could have been just fine. I don't I don't know. Like I don't really I never I've never really read a Venom comic book, but I would at least think that Venom is very much an instigator of your deepest darkest desires. That what that's what a parasite is. Like it eats you up, but also it gives you something that you want because it needs it. Like for example, I've been playing uh, Plaguing, right? And uh, and one of it is the new Rex Worm. And this works in the same way STEM works as well. It's because it controls your mind and says, okay, I want I want worms, for example. So you dig for worms, you're obsessed with worms, you keep the worms, and you spread the disease to other people because you love the worms and the worms contain the disease. That should have been the the whole basis of Venom. And, and it wasn't. And... I was like, okay, if it's not going to do this, what is it going to do? And it gave us the generic good guy trying to run from the bad guy. And then the bad guy kind of gets his own Venom, which was a Hulk thing, by the way. And I don't know why Sony copied a Hulk movie, essentially. Because I'm just like, oh man, you could have done so many better things with this. (sighs) Man, this is... It's, it's sad, but at the same time, I I do appreciate the the thought in it because it had a lot of cool things like Eddie being able to jump up a three like tree in like a few seconds or whatever, and it could like punch through walls and, and get out of there as as fast as possible. Uh, I thought Jenny Slate was just wasted in this movie. She was in like two, three scenes, and then she was done. And I was like, really? She could have. She could have been. She could have been the 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 person who helped Eddie Brock or whatever. I know that kind of goes to the girlfriend as well, and that would have been too many characters. But hey, you're you're already doing this shit. You might as well go balls to the wall, like just go full throttle just go crazy just go all out you know put your chips all in like just i don't oh man i know i sound really angry but i'm mostly frustrated because this is this is a movie where a lot of people are expecting it to be really really great and they're just gonna be get it like super middle ground and I understand some some critics were like uh, it reminds me a bit of a horror movie and it does at, at some points because especially in the woods I was like I, I I could have seen it as a horror even you know Venom gets up and yeah so I, I would even go back to the whole upgrade thing like go full all out like uh, Eddie Brock is no longer there because he is essentially full up with the fucking symbiote and it lets it, uh, it lets him it lets the symbiote control his life it lets venom control his life so it's like fuck it i've lost everything i don't want to i don't want to be i don't want to be this loser anymore uh be that as it may so fuck it be me and and that's another thing i i don't think their friendship is is really is really justified in this movie because like they're fucking symbiote and host like there's no there was no instance where where they were good friends like this is kind of the stockholm syndrome now that that comes into play and i don't know why sony wants to play with that idea but i I don't really think it's a good it's even a good storyline because (laughs) because what would what would that bring to the table if they were friends? You know, it would have been better if they, they, they had gone all out on the no, at the arm and control because that's what they they said in the trailer. That is a line in the trailer, and I don't know if they cut it. I don't know why they cut it, but there we go. Oh, man, I mean, like, I would still kind of recommend it if you wanted a movie with. You just put it in the background and just watched it in your own time but I just I just felt this movie was kind of wasted in, in, in some ways not a lot of ways but in some ways it was very very lost and it's just such a pity because I could see a lot of work done in it the animation whilst a bit weird I 
kind of liked it as well, like the whole liquid moving thing. I didn't, I didn't really like the head moving on. I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, that's so stupid. That's so weird. And again, the fight sequences. Some of it is good. Some of it is really well done. I like the one in the in the apartment. That was really cool. But then other fight scenes, like outside in the office, and then uh, when they were going to the rocket ship. The rocket ship was one of the worst ones because that was like, that brought me back to some Michael Bay shit. I was like, fuck me! I can't see anything. What's happening? How are they conjoined? Can they be conjoined? I don't know. They just throwing shit at me at the last minute and I and I don't really like it but <laughs> so there you go um, I don't I would I would recommend you guys to just watch it online or just I don't know just stream it I don't I don't know I, I don't care like this is this is a movie where I say if you just want something fun or something to watch this is a movie for you like it's just a background movie there's no there's no really one thing for me to go oh I really hated this part except for the last part I really hated that I really hated that by the way um, it isn't like Oja where I'm just really infuriated by the 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 whole throwaway message of overconsumption um, but yeah, that that I I still I still recommend it for the first half at least. Like, you know what I thought? I thought that was what they were gonna do. Like the venom was in the woman, right? Like then she came to like San Francisco when the venom changed from hand to hand and changed, 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 and changed to Brock, and then he was like, "Ooh, I like Brock because he's he's weak." He is the most in tune with his desires. I don't know why I sound like big. <laughs> Which is a Tom Hardy character. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I thought it was, uh, I thought it was like that. And it was a shitty bad voice, I know. But I thought it was going to be like that, but it wasn't. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? Oh, man. I, I'm still gonna give, I give this a five out of ten because it is it is a movie where I say, okay, it's stupid, but it's a fun stupid. Some of the times, I would even argue fifty percent of the time, half of the time. So there you go, fifty fifty five out of ten, man. Ah, oh, that was a ride. <laughs> That was really a ride though, like, that was just so weird and so, so strange, man. That was, but that was really a waste, man. I, I thought they were gonna do, I thought, I thought the least they were gonna do was, like, something like, Captain, Ar like, or not really Captain Mark, but, but like, at least, <sighs> once a movie, at, at least something like Two-Face, like, you know, that's, that's the the route I would I would technically uh, the lowest of the low, but they didn't even go there. So I don't know. Um, five out of ten, guys. I don't uh, I don't know what to say. Some more, like this movie just made me <laughs> made me lost for words, and that's what this movie does, you know. Um, but again, I I do I do love Eminem's Venom. I know it's not for everyone, and I and I do find myself sometimes like yeah it's. it's it's not great, but it's still good. So I guess that encapsulates the, the whole movie as well. So there you go. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to me, and also ring the bell because YouTube doesn't. YouTube lets unsubscribe people nowadays. So there you go, and I will see you guys next time.